little about organ and tissue donation. I'll be honest with you, I really did not know anything about it. I didn't even have like organ donor on my license or anything. I do now, um, as do a lot of my friends that I've spoken with. It was very enlightening to me. And just, I think I was fortunate to learn about it by meeting someone who I personally had an attachment to. And of course that makes me think, oh my God, if they didn't have this, you know, Papa Carl wouldn't be here and it would be, you know, a big loss to my life where is if you don't have that personal connection with somebody, it's very easy to say, ah, we're donation, who cares kind of thing. But if you sit back and think about it, it can really, you think, what if this happened to me or someone that I care about? And for that small moment of just listing that on your license and just making that decision, it's kind of like you can save so many people. And, and, you know, so much beauty can be brought back. Papa writing songs, going out and doing so many wonderful things would have never happened if it wasn't for that, that opportunity of organ donation. So that was, that was a really cool thing. What I think we're trying to do with Jam for Life is use music, which is my, you know, career and love, passion, as a universal language to touch people, youth, you know, youth um, groups and, um, you know, other people that might not actually know about organ and tissue donation they get caught up in the music and then they come out and use that music as a vehicle that everybody can relate to to promote and get a chance for people to speak about organ donation and uh, tissue donation and transplants and stuff and you know if people don't aren't into it that's one thing but at least it gives people some education so that they can make a decision on their own if it's right for them so Bye.